So, welcome to another still leveling video. I'm your host, Megalus, and today I'm going to answer some of your burning questions about what to expect with this Pokemon Yellow inspired remake. So, you're wondering what's happened since October 1st, 1999, from the release of Pokemon Yellow to November 16th, 2018, when we can expect the release of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go Pikachu. In this video, we're going to cover exactly that. So, let's get to it. So, the first major change is you no longer battle wild Pokemon. So if you're part of that older than 24 crowd, you'll remember something like this. When you fought wild Pokemon, took down their HP, and then threw your Pokeball. Now, Pokemon Let's Go's capture mechanic will eh, basically be identical to the Pokemon Go capture mechanic on the mobile platform meaning you don't need to fight any wild Pokemon or whittle their HP to hopefully increase your capture chance. Instead, you just use the Joy-Con motion controls to throw Pokeballs or berries and keep your fingers crossed and hope you catch that Pokemon. So once you capture the Pokemon, everything should be the same just like in yellow, right? Wrong. In Pokemon Let's Go, all of the Pokemon in your party get XP from the battle or lack thereof. Unlike in Pokemon Yellow, where I'm sure some of you remember going to the Eastern Gatehouse of Fisher City, talking to the Oaks Aid, after catching 50 different species of Pokemon, to get the luxury of having your XP shared across your entire party. Not the case with Pokemon Let's Go. You get that right off the bat, which is kind of great in my opinion. Another thing that is a great improvement over the original Pokemon Yellow to Pokemon Let's Go is the absolutely massive improvement to accessibility of training Pokemon, interacting with your friends, online multiplayer, and as you can see from these clips, it looks absolutely amazing. Again, the older original crowd that had to deal with the link cables recalling this little nugget from 1998. I'm sure will appreciate the update. I know I certainly will, especially now that I have my own little poke of fans, and I don't want to suffer the game link cash grab, and my little ones won't have to beg for cables, and try to show up to school early to trade their Pokemon before their cables are confiscated, and the school staff capture them and call home. Although Pokemon Go Pokecoins might be an issue on the horizon since my little ones will probably want to catch a bunch of rare Pokemon and I don't live near Pokestops. But anyways, yeah, that seems like an amazing advantage if you could have something like, say, a Bulbasaur rather than starting the game rolling around with a party full of just Pidgey and Rattata, because who wants that? Finally, some minor but unique differences and improvements from Pokemon Yellow to Pokemon Let's Go are things like Pokemon having auras. The red aura indicates that a Pokemon is larger than the average Pokemon of the same type. And the blue aura indicates that a Pokemon is much smaller than a similar Pokemon of the same type. Obviously, if there's no aura, it's just an average Pokemon. <clears throat> there's also a tail wagging mechanic where Pikachu or Eevee, whichever one you picked, will alert you to items that are close by, by wagging their tail. The faster the tail wags, the closer you are in proximity to an item. Additionally, now you can actually see the Pokemon in the tall grass. It's like a dream come true, letting us see Pokemon in the environment, and it might also give us a chance to dodge the headache of having to tote repellent to avoid weak Pokemon in certain areas after you've ascended to the higher levels, since you'll be able to see the Pokemon and simply walk around them, which is kind of awesome. And you can also ride Pokemon. So that's it for this video, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can catch more Pokemon Info videos here with Still Leveling as we get closer to release date of Pokemon Let's Go, and more videos of gameplay after release. Also, if any of you are Amazon Prime members, don't forget you can pick up the title for 20% off by pre-ordering, which saves you a bundle, especially if you're like myself and have to buy multiple copies of the games for yourself and your little ones. Finally, as we get closer to release, we will most likely be doing a giveaway, so you'll definitely want to be subscribed and have notifications turned on for that. So see you guys next time, and remember, we're always still leveling.